Many years ago, I worked in the kitchen at a Sri Lankan restaurant in North Sydney, and the owner, Chef Damien, used to create these wonderful dishes, and for many of them, he used the curry leaf to get that authentic Sri Lankan flavour. And here's the tree. Well, it's not the tree that Damien used, but it is the curry leaf tree. Oh, yes, please, thank you, please. The tree is actually a Marea, Marea conigii, with all sorts of health benefits. And it's easy to grow at home virtually anywhere in Australia, ideally in a sunny spot or light shade in most soils. Too easy. Now, when you crush the leaves, the aroma is released and the, the smell of curry is sensational. And you can also eat these berries, but the seeds are poisonous, so be careful there. And if you're in the tropics, also be careful because this can become a bit of a weed and you can also get some suckering. If you like a bit of sassy Southeast Asian action, you can't beat the zingy flavor of lemongrass. Now, there are two main culinary varieties from India and Southeast Asia, and ideally, they like it hot and wet in summer. Now, they like a fertile, well-drained soil, and they're also really nice in pots. Here's a favorite of mine. It's the kaffir lime, and it's a great one to grow at home and easy too. But just like all the citrus, it loves lots of sun, and it needs a moist, fertile, well-drained soil. If you take any of those away, particularly the sun, that's when you start to get problems with citrus. Now, the leaves are sensational in all the Thai dishes, and you use them much the same as you do with the maraya, and also much the same as the bay here. But today, I'm not going to go with the bay. I'm sticking to my flavours of Asian persuasion. Next up, folks, it's cooking with rice. There's nothing more satisfying than growing your own food and then getting into the kitchen and cooking with it. It's a beautiful thing. And I've got my pan on the heat here with a little bit of oil. I'm gonna start off with these curry leaves. Now, this is the way that Damien used to do it. You just get a few, not too many, because they're quite strong. Crush those up, get them in the oil. Look at that. And then those wonderful flavors will spread through the oil and then through the rest of the dish. Now, I'm going to go with an Indian Southeast Asian fusion here and add the kaffir lime next. So, same again, we've got the leaves here. Just crush those slightly into the oil. And again, the same thing happens. The flavors go into the oil and right through the dish. You just add whatever ingredients you want after this stage and cook until the dish is complete. So, there you go, and there you have it. That's Asian cooking with rock.